Hey, time for Sunday Brunch. Joining us today is Chef Carrie Ann Soulsby from the Gwen Hotel. Good morning to you, Chef. Good morning. We are making donuts, but these are not fried donuts. These are baked donuts. Chef, why are we doing baked and not fried donuts? Baked donuts last longer. Ah. They're like a cupcake or a cake, so you can keep them on your counter in an airtight container for a day, keep them in your fridge for a week, or yeah. keep them in your freezer, not glazed for about a year and just bring them out and refresh them up every time. These, these are easier to make at home too. Yes. All right, so yes, let's get are. at it. All right, well, these donuts, it's just a batter, so we're gonna go through the first part really fast so we can get to the fun part Sure, later. yes, do So it. batter, batter is a batter is a batter. So if you've ever made pancakes, if you've ever made cupcakes, it's the same thing. So we had our flour, which is our uh, flour, sugar, everything else, and you just kind of fold it up together. Here's okay. a pro tip. All right. Kind of stir it first, then put it in the mixer. Okay. Mixer low at first, and sure. then go up fast just to get rid of the lumps. No sure. more. You don't want to overbeat your batter. Yes, you don't want a lot of gluten formed. Can you Correct. do this with like an almond uh, flour? Do you have to change um, it at all if you want to do gluten free? You would have to uh, go with the dry content. Okay. Uh, you'd have to kind of mess with it a little bit, but Go Google will the, help the with that. Yes, we yes. have egg, and you do have some uh, baking soda, so it should be still okay. And then we have batter. Yes. Now. Take the clip off. Take the clip off. You do not have to have a pastry bag. You can right. use a scoop or a spoon. Right. So you have your, now this is a silicone mold. Silicone okay. molds, I like to bake in silicone. Sure. Because you don't need to add any extra oil. So just fill it about two thirds full. This is almost okay. like a healthy donut. Yeah, yeah it's a stretch, but uh, I'm, uh, yes, it's a healthy donut. That's correct. You know, as donuts go, this is healthy. Yes, as far as donuts <laughs> go. <laughs> there you go. So then, <laughs> it's all relative. Two, thir two thirds full. Okay. Bake it like you normally would. Sure. 350 slow oven, 325 if you have a convection, okay. until done. You say, well, what is done? Done. Uh, now, this mold takes about 12 minutes, okay. but done means when you see it kind of getting a little poofy, sure. you touch it with your finger. Okay. And if it bounces back, gives you a little mm -hmm. resistance, see a little color on the edges, you are done. You can so you don't do the, like, the little stick thing. And nah, nah. Okay. This is your better tool. All right, sounds so good. So then, you are done, you've got them out, they've cooled enough so you can touch them, you mm -hmm. flip them out, and then you have donuts. Then we have, Whoa. and now this is something you can do with the kids. Yes, absolutely do with the kid. In fact, I would encourage it. All right. So here's the fun part, the glazing. All right. So we have here just the regular sugar glaze. The rule of thumb is you can take a hot donut, fried or baked, mm -hmm. and dip it in room temperature glaze, okay. or you can have a cold donut and dip it in warm glaze. Okay. So here we have the warm glaze. Wonderful. So I'm gonna take this out. So what's donut. in here? We have uh, like powdered, powdered sugar. sugar. And this has flavoring okay. in it, but again, you can make it your own. You All can right. do whatever you sure. like with it. So donut, dip, drip, flip. Okay. So dip. The three Ds. The three Ds, the three Ds of donuts. Dip. All right. Now you say, when do you do it? Like normally, so you puddles out. Once you see that it starts, you kind of shake it around. Once you see it start retracting, okay. a little bit, right. and the flip. Flip. There you go. Messy. Absolutely perfect for children. Yeah. Now you can let this dry and enjoy your donut. Sure. But we want to go more. So we're going to be gonna extra do, this morning. You were going to be extra every morning. It is Easter Sunday after all. So, oh, there's a thing in kitchens called mise en place, which means things in place. Yes. If you do choose to decorate your donuts, have your decorations ready because yeah. this is like glue and it's already starting to dry fast. Yeah. So once again, dip. Dip. What's next? A flip. Drip. 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 And then flip. And then flip. All right. Now go quickly. I've got gooey hands, so I'm gonna use my other hand. We okay. have these cute little sugar flowers, which you can buy online. Those are nice. Yeah. Little royal icing flowers. And so we put these here. Oh, that's a broken one. We don't want that one. No, we, we don't want, want a prettier one. one. Let's show the while you're doing the decoration, Chef, we're gonna show the folks at home the information on the Gwen Hotel. Reservations still open if you don't have your Easter plans quite set in stone. You can make reservations to have a nice meal there. Perhaps get a nice baked donut from the chef herself. Chef Carrie Ann, thank you so much. I would shake your hand, but we'll you would not we'll like do me anymore. Bump. Boom! Happy Easter. Thank you. We'll be Happy right Easter. back. <laughs> this looks good.